Hi, this is Vinny Santana, triathlon coach at Iron Guides. I'm just back from our swim session here in Bangkok. I coach, I'm on deck coaching our triathlon club here. And today we had the beginners in the pool. So we simulated a part of, a, of the triathlon race that can be very challenging, especially for beginners, beginner athletes. I try in, in, in our channel here on YouTube to mix it up a little bit. Some videos I target the more advanced audience while some others like today we go back to the very basics and then we focus on beginner aspects of training and racing. So this is a very basic triathlon swim course. You have the beach start here and then the swimmers are supposed to go around this triangle shape swim loop. And it's very often there are two laps in the swim. So you do one lap and then you gotta come out on the beach run around the buoy and then jump in the water and then go for the second lap. That transition can be very difficult, especially if you've never done it, if you're not used to it. So I plan this drill to help you manage that a little bit better. It's something that you can't quite get physiologically um, fitter for it, but at least you can experience close to it in training so comes race day, mentally you're, you're ready for that challenge. So how does this work? Either you can do a run around the pool, you do one lap running, but for safety reasons, especially in a swim squad, there's like a bunch of people, it's gonna be wet on the edges of the pool there, so it's too dangerous. So I've just planned a bunch of exercises that are gonna simulate that shift of blood from the legs, and then you're forced to get in swimming again. So that's going to simulate the swim start and also the run around the buoy. So you do the run or the, the exercises and then a 200 meter swim on race effort and then you do this three times through with no break in between. So if you can't run around the pool or if, if you think it's safer not to run, you can do those, those exercises. So you do 10 squats, so just like a hair squat, squat in place, and then 10 cycles of high knee run drill and then 10 cycles of high heel run drill. Those two drills, they're very traditional running drills but I don't suggest doing them for triathlon training. This is only to simulate here, you know, running in place so we get the same, the same feel that when you run. Um, so I'm gonna cover why we shouldn't be doing this for like a running triathlon technique on another video. So back to the workout. So this will get your heart rate pumping a little bit faster, then you jump in the pool. You're gonna realize that swimming after this exercise or after a run around the pool, it doesn't quite feel the same as like a, a, a normal swim when you're starting from, from the pool. So your technique, it's always a little bit off. So that's why we suggest all the type of tools that we use in our swimming training. I've made more videos about, about this before. So triathlon swimming, it's more about fitness, it's more about rhythm rather than have a very smooth technique. And this is one of the ways that you're gonna actually feel it. So I'll, let's go and I, I've, I made like a quick video of our group doing these exercises. I'm just gonna explain step by step as we watch them doing it. So I'm sending the group 10 seconds apart for each exercise. So the group one, they start with these squats while you can see some others are already doing the high heels or high knees just to spike that heart rate and once they jump in the water they are gonna feel some fatigue already and get you especially mentally to that transition from the run to the swim. Make sure you keep this those exercises intense enough just to pump the heart rate a little bit and make the transition even more challenging. Okay now we have People going for round number two, so you can see they're, they're exiting the pool, they've just done, they, they swim, and back to the running exercises to simulate that, that change or that um, lap around the buoy. It's more to simulate the swim of the run rather than run itself, so this, those exercises is to just get them to spike the, spike the heart rate, so once they jump in the water, they're gonna feel that very specific type of fatigue that they only deal with on race day. I hope you found this video useful. If you like our content, please give, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. 
and I'll see you here at the next video. Enjoy your training. Thank you.